What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Road to 100, episode six. In this episode, I'm gonna do a full day of clean eating and then show you my chest and triceps workout. This is a new workout, as you saw by the shoulder routine, and you're gonna find out why I'm sitting outside. Stay tuned. So let's start with the reason I'm outside, otherwise you'd be pretty darn confused. So I've started a new routine in the morning. The first thing I do is I make my bed, then I lie back on bed. I know you think, why are you getting back to bed? I'm not getting back to bed. I'm meditating. I sit there, well, I lie there and meditate for 10 minutes, 10 minutes straight, just focusing on my breathing. It really brings down stress levels, brings down cortisol. It's perfect to start the day you'll see what i mean give it a try i'll link up maybe some meditation videos if i can find them above but if not you're gonna have to do your own research but i might even do a video in the future but i'm still getting used to the meditation and so forth but it's really really good it relaxes you then i come outside if i'm fasting i'll just drink some water outside for 10 minutes it's really good to expose yourself to natural sunlight or natural light first thing in the morning it really wakes you up gets your circadian rhythm going yeah you, you'll feel really good you'll see exactly what i mean but today i'm not fasting so i'm drinking a one of my iced coffee sm protein smoothies outside so i'm gonna drink this and this comes in I've, i mean you've got the recipe above so you can see but i'm just gonna tell you because it is a full day of eating after all and it comes in at 1447 calories and around 40 grams of protein and around 22 grams of carbs and for my next meal it's not gonna be a meal it's gonna be a snack I'm just gonna have 50 grams of macadamia nuts and uh, two pieces of dark chocolate as well because my next meal I'm gonna be in a meeting so it's more a snack slash meal but as you know when I'm not doing intermittent fasting I eat a bit more so I'm gonna drink this up and then head to my meeting so I just got back from the meeting and we had a meeting with a guy called Adem who's a friend of mine. He runs Express Body Boot Camp in Southgate, that's London, North London. And he gave us some amazing advice on how to generate leads and how to run the classes. We were with him for just over two hours. He was, well, his time was invaluable. I think it showed us a lot and I can't wait to start implementing the stuff that he told us as well. So hopefully I'm um, gonna start implementing that now and hopefully get some customers flowing through so the gym's officially launched but we're yet to get anything through in a way of well we've got a few clients through but you know the goal is to run about six classes a day start with four and then build upon that so yeah I'll keep you updated with that what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in I'm gonna make my own pre-workout because if I have any more caffeine I might have a heart attack and after that I'm gonna hit the gym so I'll see you in the gym Welcome back to the commentary box. Today obviously is a chest session, well chest and triceps that is. I'm starting with barbell bench press, just doing a bar, just getting the motion going. I haven't done bench press in around, well barbell bench press in around six months. So just getting the motions going again and really trying to feel that muscle contract and work with it as well. And the most important thing I think to do is keep your shoulders back, keep your head on the bench don't raise your neck you don't want to get some dodgy neck injuries because of this and you want your elbows at 45 degrees not flared out and you want to grip the bar just above shoulder width apart you can let your hands go and then just a bit above shoulder width works perfectly and remember like i said keep your elbows at 45 degrees and when you're pushing up you breathe out and then breathe in on the way down so in and then out and then the top motion you focus on bending the bar so you really get that contraction of the chest and obviously keep your feet nice and planted on the floor don't raise your feet and flick around and whatnot then i did some kneeling cable fly i was going to do a normal cable fly at standing but then a trainer came over and said to me try the kneeling cable fly i've done it before but i don't didn't really at the time remember if it was any good so i gave it another shot and i really really like this it gave me a nice stretch at the top motion especially because i've got long limbs and it gives you a real big squeeze at the bottom because you're pulling from a lot a much larger distance if that makes sense i think you're recruiting a lot more fibers as well as getting that big stretch at the top i've really felt this on my pecs it burnt and then low cable flies i'm no stranger to this exercise this was part of my routine every time before 
as I try to develop my upper pec. And I find this really hits your upper middle pec. But you need to be sure to lean back ever so slightly, put your strong leg in front, I put my right leg, and make sure you pull up, not just with your arms, obviously you need your arms, but pull up with your chest, make your chest do the work. And then my next exercise and final exercise, incline barbell bench press. The reason I left this to last was not out of choice. The actual the, the bench was actually taken. So you've got to have alternative exercises. So say to yourself that if that's taken, I'm not going to do it necessarily in this order. If it's taken, I'll, I won't wait around. I won't just you know prolong my session. I'll get on with it and then go back to it when it becomes available. You just got to work with the gym, especially when you're in a commercial gym. And yeah, this was a pretty good set. I enjoyed this. I felt this a lot in my upper chest, but still very, very light compared to before. Then tricep pushdowns was my first tricep exercise and I chose to do it with a straight bar instead of the rope purely as a change. I wanted to go a bit heavier and I managed to do that as well and really squeeze in a tricep at a bottom motion and slowly on the way up and as fast as you can on the way down with obviously not losing any form and not jerking. You want to try and keep your shoulders back as much as possible and I put one foot forward, you can put two foot forward two feet forward however you want however you feel most comfortable this is just the way i like to do it and obviously your chest up like a brave peacock and then the cable tricep extensions this is really good you get a really good stretch from this and i finished well this is what i finished my workout with after this i did some abs as usual so that's it for this commentary i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions comment below i'll drop the full routine below so you can give it a try yourself Straight after my workout, I had, well, around 45 minutes after, I had a protein shake, and now it's a post-workout meal, but it's been about two hours, well, two and a half hours since I worked out, and I'm not fussed about getting in the food straight away, and what I'm having is a tuna salad with onions, cucumber, red pepper, tomato, radish, and watercress with some hunter-gatherer mayo, avocado, and pumpkin seeds. I'll put the full recipe in the description. This comes out at 1,225 calories and 37 protein 14 carbs only nine net carbs and 114 fat i've gone a bit over on my fat today but that's fine i'll make it up in carbs so for dinner i have a balsamic and mustard chicken breast it's a bit sweet so it's got a bit of honey in it i'll put the full recipe in the description i've got some buckwheat pasta with homemade tomato sauce which i make in a batch i won't put that link in the description that's some secret sauce and then I've got some cocoa vegan cheese, about 25 grams, and three Mijol dates, and I also had an apple. This comes out at a total of 850 calories, 64 protein, 150 carbs, and 14 fat. So today, a, a total of 4,200 calories, that's 117 calories over, but I'm not fast because I'm bulking, it's okay to deviate a tiny bit. So that's 168 protein, 178 carbs, and around 314 fat. It's a bit different to what I should be attending, so I was aiming for a bit more protein, aiming for a bit more carbs and a bit less fat, but it's not that much of an issue when I'm doing targeted keto. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for future videos, and be sure to check out the other links in the series. So go from all the way from episode one all the way to episode six now. And yeah, share. I'll see you in the next video.